Ed Lowe is going to be our first storyteller. Keep the applause going for Ed Lowe. Hi, my name is Ed, and I'm a recovering Irish Catholic. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, we live a life of irony. We don't tell any of our 14 children about how that might have happened. <laughs> and we worship, uh, we have seven cardinal sins and seven, se seven cardinal virtues and seven deadly sins. And um, I guess because of symmetry, I don't, frankly, I think it should be eight and six. I never had a problem with sloth. <laughs> which, if you like long vowels, would be sloth, but then this would be molt, and you know, nobody wants that. Um, but how would you even confess sloth? You know, in those days, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, I have done uh, nothing. So, to that end, I saw it as an arrogant adolescent the arrogance of youth is an arrogance beyond measure. To be a teacher, I would make my living as a teacher because I thought it wouldn't require any effort. I mean, it didn't seem to me that the people who came in and annoyed me for 40 minutes in French were doing anything that made them perspire. And, and the people who then came in and annoyed me for 40 minutes in biology weren't doing anything either. So I, saw, I, I thought I would do that. And I became a teacher, and I found out it was five shows a day in front of bands of apprentice assassins. <laughs> so I sought my satisfaction in another trade. I wanted to be a writer, and I went into New York not knowing anything. I mean, marinated in ignorance. I went in to, to Madison Avenue, to um, personnel agencies that specialized in advertising copy. And um, so I wrote out the name, Ed Edward J. Lowe, Jr., you know, uh, 57 Hamilton Street, Amityville, uh, Marist College, a degree in English, uh, uh, minor in education. And then the guy said to me, um, okay, you have a portfolio? home. <laughs> he said, home? Uh, well, I, well, yeah, this was a sort of a serendipitous thing. I just thought I would stop in and see what the uh, market was like in the advertising industry. He said, well, this is the advertising industry. People are going to always see a portfolio. I said, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I didn't mean to bother you, it, it was just a whim, and I'll, you know, so I back out, and I leave, and I go home to Amityville, and I go to Christopher Stationers, commercial stationers, and I go to Leo Rostin, whom I've known since I'm five years old, who is one of those people that you know, that from the time you're a kid, you can, talk to, you can address by his first name, even though he's a grown man. Leo! Yes. I need a uh, portfolio. <laughs> so he says, no problem. And we walk to the back of the store, and there, there's this stack of these, it looks like you took an attache case, a soft one, and put it on the Long Island Expressway and ran one of those rollers over it so that it flattened out, and it's a quarter of a mile zipper all around it. It's, it's just huge. And I realized I've seen these guys on the train with this big thing. So I'm like, perfect. So I buy the portfolio and it cost me a week's salary. I'm making $90 a week take home as a teacher. I'm making $6,300 a year. And I buy this thing and I, to hedge my bet, I put the two tags that are attached to the handle inside the zipper and zip it up figuring if this doesn't work out, I can go back to Leo and I have an un, you know, undamaged portfolio. And I maybe he could buy it back. 
And I go in, and I'm not just a nod, I don't go to the same personnel agency. I go to a different personnel agency. I fill out the name, Edward J. Lowe Jr., 57 Hamlet Street, and go blah, 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 blah. And the guy says to me, um, I see you have a portfolio. <laughs> Is this not the advertising business? Would I come here without a portfolio? What am I, Stunan? I'm Irish, and I'm saying this. And he says, may I see it? So I hold it up. And then I turn it around. So they're pretty much the same on both sides. If you look at it this way, it's really sort of skinny. <laughs> and he says, as if that were, you know, as if that were funny. He, uh, as if I were making a joke. He said, no, 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 may I see it? So I give it to him, and he opens it up. And as he's opening it up, I realize he's trying not to laugh at me. <laughs> it's one thing to have somebody laugh at you, to have somebody try not to laugh at you. <laughs> and... And now, he's looking for Alan Funt. He says, where's the copy? And I actually said, copy of what? <laughs> That's my blunder. Thank you. Give Ed another round of applause.